she's a trait like the note she was like you know throwing people under the bus she's yelling out my name in the middle of the castle like Rachel's a traitor I'm like what am I supposed to do <laughs> so of course I I understand where that animosity between the two of us comes from but I think in real life like I you know I really love her meeting her in New York we got to talk we said what happened in the castle we're gonna leave in the castle um I mean, I think she's a lovely person. And I think there's a lot in real life that we could like, I'd love to go have a drink with her once she has her baby, talk about being moms together. I'm hoping that will happen. <laughs> and she doesn't appreciate your style. I mean, come on. Yeah. I know. I, I do not understand how she could not appreciate my style because on the reunion show, I bring it and I will say like everyone watching this has to watch the reunion show because I felt like my outfit was amazing and she did not appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, you schooled us. You let us know it was couture. I mean, hello. Right? It's like exactly. I I appreciated it. What about you know what was Brandy Glanville like? You know what was oh, that like being with her? Yeah, it was crazy when Brandy was in that game. And I'm actually, I have to say, I'm kind of glad she went home when she did because I think Brandy and Kate together would have been crazy like I just really didn't want to live in a castle where those two were together best friending it all the time because the two of them were when they had an idea oh they went for it and they would tell everyone they were very loud and outspoken so it was very it was like you know you weren't able to you know express any other opinions that weren't theirs what about all this that's gone? I mean, I just interviewed Brandy recently before she yeah. left for a girl's trip. But like, what about all this stuff out there now, you know, with her and Carolyn Manzo that, you know, she touched her here and she touched her there. Like, what do you think of all this? But I think that, you know, I honestly don't know Brandy well enough to make an educated opinion on that. Um, but I know that she likes to have fun. And, you know, listen, we've all kissed a girl, but you got to make sure that they're into it. <laughs> You have to make sure they actually like it, right? Yeah, exactly. What about, were you guys told, I'm just curious, like she wasn't at the reunion. Like, were you, I mean, that's strange. You must have thought something like, were you guys told like Brandy's not here because of that? No, we, nobody had, we didn't really talk about it. And it was really never an issue. It was never brought up. And I mean, you know, Brandy and also Reza wasn't at the reunion, right? So right. like they were gone pretty quickly. So it wasn't like there was a lot to talk about with them. Um, so I don't think we missed out on a lot of commentary from them for, for the reunion. I would have loved to see them, but I don't think we really missed out on a lot because they just weren't really in the game that long. And nobody was saying like, where's Brandy? I mean, I would have asked it. I would have wondered. I mean, Reza too, sure, yeah. but you know. We, well, we had heard about, we had heard Reza's father had passed. And so I knew Reza was probably not going to be there, but um, we didn't really, I don't think anyone really talked about it. I mean, we were, listen, I don't know if I'm like maybe a little narcissistic, but I was focused on myself. <laughs> I was focused on my outfit and I was focused on like, you know, what I, what I was going to say to Cody and what I was going to say to Kate and like, Cody and I had had this like drama outside of the show. So I was kind of just thinking like I was I was kind of worried what was going to happen at the reunion. Before we move on from this, I'm just curious, just because yeah. you are in casting and like you are a reality TV that like this is part of what you do in your day job. I like, do you think I mean, I have my own opinions on it. Like, do you think that is why she wasn't at the reunion? And like this really is the end of like her reality TV career, just like these for Brandy, guys. yeah, I think Brandy's a great TV personality. So I enjoy, I have enjoyed watching her and I just, I don't know what happened and what went down. And to be honest, I don't think any, no one's going to know until it airs. Right. So I think as we find out more information and find out kind of what happened, then I think we'll know if she'll be done with reality TV, but you know, I yeah. hope not, but I know yes. I hope not. I mean, it's like you can't, there's certain things you can't do, right? Like it's, you know, it's, you can't cross lines in, in real life or in on TV life. It's just so. I have a bad feeling about the outcome for Brandy, but that's just me just knowing like how this all works like you do, but I, I really yeah. hope not also. 
Did you ever think, you know, back when you applied almost 15 years ago to be on Big Brother in 2010, that it would lead to all of this, that you would still be on our screens all these years later on all these reality shows? Could you ever have imagined this? I would have never imagined 15 years ago being this person walking into Big Brother that would be still on a show, you know, 15 years later. I have been lucky enough that I keep getting asked back and maybe that's because I'm a little dramatic. (laughs) Um, But I, you know, I'm loving every moment of it and I'm taking it, uh, you know, every day. I'm like, I don't know when this will be the last time I'm asked. So I just kind of try to go, go into every show with that mentality and, I do the best I can. I try to win. I try to, you know, make some good TV, which is what it's all about. But, uh, you know, I, I hope I continue for 15 more years. Did you know what to expect before you went on Big Brother? Like, were you like, how did you, I don't even know really the story. Like, did you kind of yeah. set out? Were you a big fan of Big Brother? Or were you just kind of like, sure, this sounds great. Why not? I'm like, I have nothing to do this week with my life. I might as well go and try <laughs> try out for the show. Because people do come to it from so many different angles. Well, I think, you know, uh, for me, I was a huge fan of Big Brother. So I knew that I really wanted to go into that show and play a game very similar to Janelle, um, who I'm a huge fan of from Big Brother. I knew that I wanted to win. It was for $500,000. And I knew that I needed to make good TV. And it's a business, right? And like, for me, I knew going into it, I was looking at it like a business, like it's a $500,000 paycheck. And I am there to make television and I wanted to, you know, whatever I could do, but, but also being true and authentic. Like I never try to, you know, I don't, it's not scripted television. So I try to be authentic and in the moment and just kind of live my life and say what's on my mind. And I don't really have a plan usually. (laughs) Well, you kind of touched upon this earlier, like with the traders and, you know, but especially like that first season of Big Brother right away, people had such a visceral reaction, your castmates, America, Lots of people hated you. Lots of people loved you. Like, I mean, were you shocked at that, that you really aren't this middle of the road? Like, or were you like, okay, well, my whole life, people have always had either a love or hate relationship with me. No, never. I've always, I always thought I was like loved, but you know, in the real world, people aren't going to, you know, approach you and say things to your face like they do on reality TV. So I don't know. It, It did make me wonder if I if my personality had always been like, you know, a certain way that it affected people a certain way, but I never really thought about it. And I think that's probably the best kind of reality TV personalities that we like are ones that just go in there and be themselves and don't really have to think about, you know, changing for the cameras or whatever. Well, you are involved in casting. Like, are you still, is that still like your day job? Do you still do a lot of casting and stuff? Oh yeah, I'm casting. Yes, Uh, actually I will plug this. I'm casting The Golden Bachelor right now. And we're looking for the guy for The Golden Bachelor. We're casting people um, from ages like, you know, 55 to 75, but really all ages for this, The Golden, for people in their senior years to find love. Is that definitely going to be on ABC? Because we've heard of this show for so many years. Like, it seems like it's really happening now. It's re- it's really happening. It's filming. And we're really going through the casting process. We're, we're, we're casting men. We're casting women. Um, I actually don't know if it's going to be like ABC, Hulu, 